It's me, Mikey Pipes, and I have something a little bit special for you in this episode. We're installing a whole house water soft, a water softener with built-in filter. Check this out, you're gonna love it. But first, let me show you this mechanical room. You got the US boiler, the Burnham, the Aspen. It's very nice. It's a nice boiler. All right, it's got that same control that the Alpine has. Very nice, nice use of PEX here. All right, we have an x roll number 60 on an angle. It really shouldn't be in that orientation. If they read the manual, you'd see that. Shame on them. But nice, everything nice and pressed. They got the manifold there. The inch and a quarter by three quarter copper manifold. Picking up all the webstone isolation valves. It's a nice touch. Over there, got some more circs for one, two, three, four, four radiant zones. I guess they could have done a little differently with manifolds, but eh. Problem with this is trying to isolate each loop when you need to, we need to purge, so I'm not a fan of the way they did that. Here's our inch and a quarter water main coming in. Inch and a quarter and it's sized down to one inch. This is where the meter is gonna go one day. And we're gonna put that filter right here. Right here, we're gonna put that filter. And we have an outlet of power. We'll figure that out. But, oh, you could do uh, connections on top too. Hmm. We could do connections on the bottom or on top. It's very cool. Very, very, very cool. Aspen 270. Huh. Not bad. All right. How's your whole family? How's your whole family? All right, guys. We got this awesome whole house water filter here with built-in water softening. All right, you're going to have to go that way. All right. Pretend it's a water heater. But do it, okay. You can do it! Can you do it? I'm not gonna fall forward. Okay. Oh. Beware of loose bricks. All right. We're going to use expansion pecs on this job, All right? I positioned the water filter and softener here. This is it, this is the contraption. The cover is off. And I've already set up this 3 8 OD discharge hose. And I snuck it behind the, uh, the Aspen, right? All the way over to here to this condensate pump. And I have one fear with this condensate pump is that I may need to put a larger capacity uh, condensate pump in here instead of this one by Little Giant. We're gonna find out what happens with that, but apparently it's not that much of a discharge. We'll see. I have PEX B here, right? But future meter is gonna go here. And I totally effed up. I gave Daniel an order for expansion packs from Blyberg and Oceanside on Lawson, right? And then I'm getting ready to plan everything out of my head and I look at this, I'm like, oh man, like I ordered two one inch expansion packs. Oh, shh. No, it'll, uh, will it work? No, it won't work. But anyway, this sucks. I need to put a T in the middle. Damn it. And as always, uncut, unedited, raw, there really should just be PEX A. Forget about all this crimp nonsense. Nothing like full flow with the expansion PEX. I sent Daniel back to Supply House again to get a one inch PEX B crimp ball valve, which we're gonna put in between the two T's. Let's start expanding some PEX. First things first, right? We need to, did you put it on here already? No. Uh, we need to, lick it 
before you stick it. So we're gonna put a little lube there. Mm -hmm. All right, look, Upinor lube. Yeah, that must be some powerful stuff. Here, so now, well, you got the cocky all of your hands? It's fine. <laughs> all right, put on the jaw. Not the jaw, the uh, expansion uh, module or the piece, the adapter. Spin that on. Okay, it's on there good? Yep. Very nice, okay. This is the M12 expansion tool. Hold up, would you mind? Okay, I have my first piece here, I'm just gonna let it spin. And it turns automatically. So now that it's done there like that, I'm gonna take this. Oh, not enough. The one inch. Is it not? Is this the one inch? Peter Pan. Look. That's the one inch. That's the one inch. Oh, Peter. Look at that. It's getting all in there. Deep inside. One more. Voila, it's right in. Fits like a glove. And there are little stops on both sides. Okay. Now, you may be asking Mikey Pipes, why do you have brass fittings and EP fittings? This is what I got from when I renovated my house. I did it all in expansion packs. And I use all brass fittings, and they don't make that really anymore. Supply houses don't get it. You're waiting forever for Upinor. All right, now, let me show you where this guy's going. This guy is going to go in there. Like that, right? Mm -hmm. I was gonna get a little stupid and just go across here to here to here, but that looked kind of stupid and retarded, right? If you ask me. So I decided to do it this way. So we're gonna take a couple more measurements. I'm just gonna get my pecs to here, and then we're gonna bring it over here, and we'll get some filming along the way. All right, let's go. Okay, so we got done so far. All right. Is this enough? I think if I just stick it right in, that's good. Yeah, should be. All right, just keep it high, mm -hmm. right? Expand your other pecs, mm -hmm. right? And then just ram it in and make sure that it bottoms out. When, while you're ramming it in, right? Push. Yeah. <laughs> but make sure, like, you see how we're a little bit a, yeah. a sea hair away? You want you want that all the way up in there. All the way, like, balls deep. Just grab by the hair and just... Yeah. Normally, when you... Damn, I can't say what I did. Let me stop myself. <laughs> Normally you grab them by the arms, right? Peter Pan. You only get one shot, by the way. I know. Uh, don't want to screw it up. Don't screw it up. Can you grab this tool right when I'm done? Just with both hands for yeah, leverage? Of course. I'll grab the tool when you're done with it. And, you know, I would go a couple extra times to buy yourself some more time. Yeah. Because the whole purpose of PEX A, its whole journey in life is to go back to the original size. You ready? Like a man. Like a man. Oh, too slow, too slow, too slow, too slow. Oh, too slow, too slow. Oh, you're too slow, Peter Pan. You're not all the way in. Pull it out, pull it out. You're not all the way in. All right. Time for to let the big boys get up in there. Go and make that extra time. Slam it in there. All right, we got that one in. See? Now we're gonna do that one. We're prepping this one. Oh, hi, hi, Daniel, son. Is this is this delivered by Frank Savoy? Yes. They want to know how you like it in the end. <laughs> and um, he said these are what you want because they're cheaper and they'll work better. So I just said okay. The problem with this is, see, that he thinks I'm using. Pex B, right? Which is which is not this, right? So, let's see if we. Oh, 
and start foot and mouth. Yeah, it works. <laughs> See, those, those are better and cheaper. Okay. See what I did here? I was going to just go across here, across here, and then right to here. But I was like, you know what? Let's make it look nice and pretty. We're in a Taj Mahal. The, ba the basement has two bathrooms. The basement has two bathrooms. There are two bathrooms on the first floor. One off the living room and one off the, the grand foyer. The grand the foyer? The grand foyer. As opposed to the standard it's foyer? As opposed to like the, the Nuttana foyer. You know? I can't imagine how many bathrooms are upstairs. But with this 120 gallon indirect. You know what's kind of messed up? Look, they, they went through all of this expense and doing all this piping, right? And it's not piped in the way it should be. It should be right off the primary loop. And it's not. It's piped in as a zone right after the spiral vent. That indirect should be piped in. Of, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but. Now this is the aspen. Correct. Do we have that? I'm willing, to, I'm willing to wager that if we were to pull up the installation manual that the preferred, There's oh shh. It's an right. aspen, so it's that must aspen. be like. True luxury because Alpine is just you know yeah. mountain. Yeah, Alpine. Aspen. We're talking about Aspen, Cali this is Aspen, Aspen, Colorado. This is People fly. You know the rich mother effers out there. They fly in private jets there. They do. I, I know because I flew into Aspen. Not on a private jet though. <laughs> but I couldn't fly out. I got stuck there because and my plane was circling overhead. Right, if you for had your private minutes. jet, if I had my private jet, it would be circling overhead as well. But then it'd be. My friend jumped out of a helicopter. Yep, there it is. Boom, oh, there it is. You see? Is there an alternative method? The system piping continued. Indirect. There. Oh, I guess there's the two methods. See, this is piping method one. Near boiler piping, heating plus supply pipe indirect. And this is piping method one. Near boiler piping... Heat exchanger inlet bottom connection inlet bottom connection. There's know. another diagram on this page, which doesn't show anything about indirect. There's no indirect on it. Heating only. All right, our water connections are done. We are now adding salt. We got, I got the salt from Agway. One of the first things it tells you to do in the instructions for the North Star is to add approximately three gallons of clean water to the brine tank. Is what we're doing. Ooh. Oh, that, thanks, yeah. In. So we added approximately three gallons of water to it, and we're adding salt, so we get to number eight. And... Ah, uh, that's it, that's it. That's it? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. 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 And we'll stack up the remaining bags on the side here for... Is this, like, actual salt? Salt? Like, is it gonna taste like salt? <laughs> Put it, look it. It's like a oh, salty. Yeah. It's, salty. it's like a salty uh, so caramel. <laughs> you know what I really wanted to say. How does this end up back out of the water? Yeah, that's salt. No, no, how does it end up out of the water? As it ends up out of the water? Yeah, if it's putting this in, how does it take it out? Okay, so that's a great question, and I, I and I may have a lot of answers like Radio Chef, but I can't answer every question. All I know is that it's good, and that the ladies love it. You want to know why the ladies love it? It's good. T take a guess why the ladies love having a water softener in their house. They absolutely love it. For their hair? They don't have conditioner. No. Is that true? That's facts. If you have a water softener in your house, right, using salt you have natural conditioner being added into the water. Facts. Facts. I don't lie. It's like when you go in a swimming pool, how your hair gets all dried out. A oh, chlorine yeah. swimming pool. This is the opposite. Going to salt water swimming pool. Right. Completely different. All right. We have five bags remaining. Perfect. So we use exactly five bags. We bought 10 bags, right? Was it $15 a bag? Hundred and thirty-six. Oh, so yeah, so around eleven dollars a bag plus tax. Okay. All right. Next step. Supplies plug into the electrical outlets. Then the word set time appear and twelve p.m. begins to flash. It is. It is time to read WhatsApp notifications. One thirty-eight. One thirty-eight. Wednesday, 
December 15th, if that's relevant. And then press the select to continue. Hardness. Yeah, so you <laughs> set your hardness level. 100%. <laughs> What 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 recommendations? Uh, default is twenty five. That's what it says. Assume your water is twenty gallons, GPG hard, and contains two ppm iron. Add five to the hardness number for each ppm of iron. I have an answer. Hempstead, Lindbrook. Thank you for calling Metro Filter Sales. For customer service, press one. For technical. Let's so see how long we're on hold for. Metro Filters. They rep Lancaster, 3M, Aquapure, and North Star. Well, that's kind of a little disappointing. I like I like I always try to keep it uncut, unedited, raw. I call Metro Filters. Oh man, I need a haircut. I call Metro Filter. I press two for tech support. I'm on hold for a few minutes and then I get an option to leave a voicemail. Like, there's no one there. So I call back, press one for customer service. I got the same thing. So then I call Frank Supply and they're like, uh, yeah, you can call Metro or I have a number for a guy and that's, that's his office number. So it is 144 and I'm waiting to see how quickly I get an answer to what to set the hardness level for. And I guess if we would have been more diligent in reading the manual, we could have got this information beforehand, but it is what it is. But while we're waiting, we're going to secure the packs, the one-inch aqua packs, expansion packs to the wall. All right. Securing the packs. Peter Pan's got the, the torpedo. And not the torpedo that are in submarines. We're still waiting a phone call back to see what to set the hardness. Question regarding the North Star that I picked up from Frank Supply. What do I set the hardness level to? I'm in Woodmere, New York. Okay. Well, in Woodmere, I would um, factor in the, the iron as well. So um, the hardness level there is, is running between six and seven grains, but then we, we there's usually about a half a part per million of iron. So I would set it um, at nine grains per gallon, which factors in the heart, the uh, iron content as well. Nine grains per gallon. So correct. default is 25. I'm going to bring this down to 25 to nine. Am I correct or? I'm sorry, I, you broke up saying it. Oh, sorry. The default is 25. Can, can you? Yeah, it might, might be, it might be uh, 20 grains. It's, it, in, in many parts of the United States, the hardest level is, is between uh, 15 and 30 grains hard, so 20 is kind of an average, but in the, in the, along the eastern seaboard, it's much less. Okay, so I'm going to set this to 9. Nah, Mike, I'm sorry, I, 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 I can't hear you. I'm going to set it to 9, the hardness level of 9. Right? Yeah, just just use the, the uh, down arrow to bring it down to nine. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, once, once, yes. yeah, once you input that data, the, it automatically calculates how many gallons it can it can treat before it needs to recharge itself. So okay. So it's fully automatic after that, okay? Perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate your help. You're welcome. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Down hour to nine. Okay, next. When finished setting your water service. I press. want to do this during the day. Press the select button and display will change the set recharge time screen. Okay, uh, 2 o'clock. Okay. 2 o'clock? Yep. What is this? Uh, NACL. Select button and display screen. Set salt, NACL, correct? Set salt yes. type. Um, What's the level we have? If you completed the previous step, then it's lift the lid and salt origin tank. Salt level scale. Anything else? We can no. recharge now, right? What do we, how do we, um... Extra recharge, recharge button. Hold for three seconds until the words recharge now begins to flash and display. This will take about two hours to complete. Holy sh... Then you will have soft water again. <laughs> well, we need to test because we want to make sure this pump works. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to Johnstone and get a, the larger condensate pump. 
that means the water is below the boiler, which means everything is fried inside. Yeah, right? when this low water cutoff turns off the boiler, you need a new boiler. <laughs> Why did they put it up there? Oh, that's true. <laughs> like, oh, well, how did that even pass inspection? It probably didn't, wasn't inspected yet. Because if there's no water there, there's no water here, and this thing's been running. I mean, spot was really Recharge now. All right, we're back. The next day, we replaced the condensate pump that was sitting here before, and let me show you what we did in the final startup. So here it is. This is the North Star whole house water filter. It uses it's carbon based. There's the carbon tank, and it has salt. This holds five 40 pound bags. So we have 200 pounds of salt in here. There's five extra. We'll see how long this lasts. I have my one inch PEX, expansion PEX leaving the main across, going in and then going out. I'm gonna come back um, maybe tomorrow or Monday. I'm gonna throw in a couple isolation valves right here. Um, I'll get them from supplyhouse.com. I need two one inch expansion ball valves right here, just to isolate this completely. I didn't think of that. Not needed, but I didn't think of it, so I'm gonna do that. My discharge goes along here, and it goes to the standpipe going to the condensate pump. There's our power for the module, and the tank runoff, in case needed, also goes into the pump. Not bad, not bad at all, not too shabby. And especially with the high amount of iron that we have in our public water supply here on the south shore of Long Island, this is a perfect solution for that. All right, thanks for watching.